okay. software to the idea of software 2.0 is to you know is to help to computer or software write itself for instance when you come to look at that the way we use, we write software nowadays or previously or the way we write software nowadays you could re realize that we study programming languages right and when we study these languages and frameworks we then use it to code we learn how to code and then we code out the software the entire softwares we are we want to develop so the idea of software two and uh, software 2.0 came when people came out and said no or other technologies and software developers came out and said no since machine learning is becoming more rapid why not make software write itself instead of us to always keep writing softwares you know and we have lots of problems to solve as people and the time period for average development software if you want to de develop maybe just a, let's say a standard software which is an enterprise based software it may take uh, depend on the, the number of developers you have the first you can really do is three months it takes minimum of three months to develop an enterprise based software even if you are many developers that may be because of the processes you have to go through the planning the software development side the planning all this and the coding especially the coding takes time all these things and sometimes it really goes beyond the three months yeah most of the times and the idea of software 2.0 came instead of us spending my time on soft developing software ourselves why not try to find ways in which software could recreate itself could develop another software you get the point mm -hmm. for instance God created us, uh, human beings, right? Mm -hmm. And He has given us some kind of wisdom in which we can create machines to do certain tasks for us instead of us doing it ourselves. Isn't that? So now, uh, developers also came out and said, We created softwares to really <coughs> help people. If we could find a way, in which with the application of machine learning software could look at the trends we use the paradigms we use to develop softwares and then code out certain softwares all we have to do is to really put out certain parameters across so that it will do that for us so that is what the idea of software 2.0 came so the first one was what software 2.0 the coding and titan an entire software or application is yes the term we give to it is what software 2.1 i mean one and uh, 1.0 okay and the new ten the new paradigm shift i'm talking about is software 2.0 okay 